Vogue. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer of Custom Chic and if you're new here, let me be the first to welcome you. My channel focuses on fashion, travel, and just overall lifestyle. So if that is the kind of content you are into, I would definitely encourage you to subscribe, share, like, hit that bell notification so you do not miss an upload. I upload videos every Wednesday and every Friday. And on today's vision video, we are talking about y'all, what am I wearing in fashion week? First of all, the fact that I'm saying this time, this is only my second time attending New York Fashion Week. I, the very first time I went was last year um, in September of 2021. Has always been a dream of mine. So now the fact that I get to come back again and go for spring summer 2022, I'm super excited about. I rushed home from work because when I finally made the decision to go, actually when my schedule finally made the decision for me to go, I was like, I can do this. Um, we or I have a trial or had a trial that was set to go February 28th. For those of you that don't know, I am a lawyer by trade. All that information is on my Instagram, customs underscore chic, shameless plug. Make sure you go out and check me out. But so the calendar cleared and I was able to like finalize my plans to go. Um, the trial was initially supposed to go February 28th and then literally like a week ago, I got an order from the judge telling us that we had to appear in person this past Monday. And on this past Monday, he told us we needed to be ready to go next Monday. Er, cringe. Y'all, I was like, this cannot be happening. These are the worst, 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 definitely like worst dreams for any fashion girl to hear that like all the tickets to the shows, all the events, all the pop-ups that I have are really about to be not happening. I was praying. We were a number eight on the docket, so we were not called first. So now it's time to go. I definitely still have my work clothes on. I'll show you guys what I have on. This is like a Nanette Lepore pleated dress, um, and I have on some black um, over-the-knee booties you guys probably can't see. I love this. I picked this up from Ross. Ross is one of my favorite stores when I'm, you know, safe splurging. Um, this was 20 bucks and it's a size 8. They still have some in stock in a variety of different colors. So I will drop that down. But y'all, let's get to it. You guys can probably see some of my outfits. Again, like I said, I am going for a more street style look this time. Um, I want to be a little bit more daring with my wardrobe. I've definitely grown as a dresser. I, I don't know how else to say that. I've definitely grown as a dresser since last time I went to Fashion Week. I've been inspired by some of the girls. I've been inspired by some of the things that I've been seeing. I've been experimenting with um, textures and just kind of putting different things together. I used to be a very like clean line, asymmetrical things, you know, stuff that was very structured. I still love structured things, but I think now more and more I'm incorporating different styles or maybe complicated styles at, at once in my wardrobe that kind of makes sense. So the first piece that I'm going to show you all is the outfit I plan to land in. So New York City Concrete Jungle, New York City Fashion Week. It's not New York City, it's New York Fashion Week 2022. Let's go. So the look that I plan to wear when I land in New York City, because it is going to be about 20 something degrees, I land Saturday morning. Um, this is a regular black sweater that says chic. Um, this is actually from a black designer and I will put the information down in the description box. I just figured that I would add a couple of pins just to make it, um, you know, a little bit more interesting, a topic of conversation. I'm pairing it with these cargo pants that I purchased from the Karen Britchick um, X Amazon, the drop collection that would have been spring or no actually that would have been fall of 2021 i love these cargo pants i love the color on them i love the asymmetrical kind of binding of the um closure detail and you can clasp that as tight or as loose as you want it um i also love that you can cinch the bottom of the pants to make them even more tapered on the bottom there's two buttons at the bottom and you can kind of taper them to your liking um i wore these pants to work before so you can absolutely dress them up or dress them down i've seen karen wear them in a multitude of different ways so you can get some style inspiration there loving the cargo pockets on the side it just gives it that little bit more of a grunge look because i want to wear these with sneakers super comfortable I believe I bought these in a size medium and they are very roomy. Mind you, when I actually wore these in real life, um, I had some leggings underneath it. So they do leave a little bit of room. So this is the initial look, but it needs a little bit more. So these are the sneakers. These are the Puma um, sneakers designed by June Ambrose. They just recently dropped. I actually purchased these at the beginning of 
probably not the beginning, the end of January. They're 100 bucks, super comfortable. Um, again, kind of just kind of like that street look that I'm going for. So far, I'm feeling it. I'm comfortable. When I land in New York, there's going to be a little bit of walking around to do, so I figured I'd do something comfortable. And then for the piece de resistance, this is my orange um, Sherling inspired or Sherling faux Sherling um, coat that I purchased from INC Concepts from Macy's. This coat was to die for and I absolutely just could not wait to wear it. Um, so this is the entire look in its finality. And this will be me when I drop off or when I come off the plane for New York City Fashion Week starting Saturday. The next look that I kind of wanted to dress up was this ASOS design dress in silver and sequins that I purchased for my birthday last year. I don't think the dress is still available and I've only literally worn the dress once. A year ago so I was like no must do something with this um, I actually got the waist tailored um, brought in some or cinched rather because it was just a little bit too boxy when I initially got it but I thought I have this dress I like it sequence or statement pieces are kind of in for fall or rather spring 2022 so I figured hmm how do I judge this up so I pulled out my metallic um, silver booties I cannot for the life of me remember where I got these but I was like I wore it exactly the same way for my birthday last year and I thought well it was nice for a birthday but I need to zhuzh it up some more for fashion week like what else can we do it needs something else so I decided to pair it with this Jolie Noir sweater that I purchased from the Target Black History Month collection um, because I wanted to just do something a little bit unexpected sparkly sequins fancy skirts are in right now so I thought mm, this will be fun and then I added my coach pillow tabby in that same pink color I removed the gold strap because obviously the gold and the silver was gonna clash even though I don't mind mixing metals I mix metals all the time with my jewelry I just thought it would have been a little bit too much um so I actually like the look together but I'm like it's still missing a little bit of something but so far this is the base right <laughs> the base is 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 good so this is an overall look of what the outfit looks like a little leg i know it was going to be cold but listen i had seen some pics of girls already serving because mind you i was leaving on saturday new york city fashion we started on thursday but this is a go next look is one of my favorite dresses favorite purchases of 2021 this is the monroe steel slash something by sanji collaboration this was their fall 2021 collaboration i want to say that this is the beyonce dress this was from their rich auntie collection and i absolutely loved it i love the dress the way it fits but i'm like it's missing something it needs a little bit of zhuzh and i knew exactly what piece i could use to take this over the top so i paired it with none other than this stunning belt that i purchased in accra ghana this is by an african designer called loza molembo and i apologize in advance if i'm mispronouncing her name but listen once i stuck that belt on there honey everything that was cinched needed to be cinched i did realize that i would probably have to wear some kind of shaper underneath it so that you know we could take away some of these rolls but baby this dress was giving i absolutely loved it i love that the the belt actually had some denim and then some like navy blue accent to accentuate the dress even more. I love what was happening on top. And then I paired it with my Tamara melon boots um, in gray. Those are probably still available. They're called the icon boots. Um, and then I thought I'd play around with it and maybe put on this um, baby blue scully hoodie little situation. Um, it was giving me vibes and I absolutely loved it and I wanted to take it and then I forgot to pack it. <laughs> so... I was slightly mad at myself, but then I'm like, mm, is this a little bit too childish? Is it taking away? But I thought it was fun because all of the blue, the different hues of the blue and the gray actually worked out well together. Now that I think about it, I'm glad I did not bring the hat because I wore this somewhere a little bit more fancy. Next look that I thought about bringing is this stunning dress from the Kai Collective. I actually bought this back in December to take with me to Ghana. I did take it with me to Ghana. I absolutely love the fun colors about this. I absolutely love the weaving pattern that's on top, but I just could not figure out how to specifically style this dress. Right now, I have it on with some animal print boots that I got from Zara. Old, but you can literally find those any and everywhere. So I pulled out my Balenciaga Hour Coat in this royal kind of cobalt blue color thinking that it was going to give it something but I just I could not figure out like I kept looking at this and I'm like I like it 
but I feel like something is missing and I could not pinpoint what that was. So I'm playing around with this. I'm like, do I wear the jacket over the shoulders? Do I wear the jacket with my hands actually through the sleeves? And even though I liked the mixing of the prints, so the stripes and the animal print, I just could not really get it together. Um, so then I try to put my sleeves through the hands of the jacket just to think, okay, maybe this is better. Um, close the coat completely and just kind of have the remnants of the dress um, show from the bottom and then the sleeves. But it still really wasn't giving. I mean, it's a polished look. Don't get me wrong. It looks good together. I would have clearly kept my collar down, but something was just missing. So I'm like, okay, do I cinch it? What do I do to play up on the fact that I'm mixing prints, which is something that I wanted to do and I found very street style-ish and kind of um, forward and daring. I mean, it's fashion week. I didn't want to be boring. I didn't want to stay with like my normal silhouette, my normal kind of like um, expected outfits, but it just didn't work. So I thought, okay, well maybe I'll try to, I don't even know why I pulled this belt out. <laughs> just as quickly as I pulled it out, I put it back. Cause I was like, okay, like, what is this about? Um, so then I tried to bring out my Loewe Obi belt and while it did what it was supposed to do in terms of cinching, um, there was just a little bit more color than I didn't want there. I'm like, now it just looks too busy. Um, again, this dress is very form fitting. I mean, it hugs all of the curves great and I absolutely love my shape in it, but, um, I would definitely recommend wearing shapewear with this because you just kind of need to. When I look at this now i'm like mm. so maybe if i had the ob belt in a brighter cream color or for maybe if i had the ob belt in a different color altogether it would have worked out but as is i just i don't know it's not doing it i don't know i just i don't know tell me what y'all think in the comments and if you follow me on instagram customs underscore chic you know whether or not this made it to fashion week or not Okay, so the next look we're playing around with, this top is from Manuel Devois. I will put it down in the description box. These jeans are from Nasty Gal. They kind of bunch up around the ankle. They don't kind of bunch up. There's some straps to make it seem um, more tapered. I paired it with a pair of faux suede burgundy boots that I purchased from Walmart last year, probably even two years ago. Still affordable. Um, this look was very daring and very edgy, especially for me. Um, I like the high slit of the bodysuit, which is why I intentionally bought it. But then I thought, well, maybe I can mute it a little bit with this cardigan. And then I thought, this cardigan is giving very much grandma. <laughs> okay, there is no street style here. So I was like, let me remix this. I ended up bringing all of the pieces, but that cardigan. So mm, what y'all think? So the last outfit that I had to kind of play around with was um, something to wear to a Galentine's Day brunch the day that I landed in New York, which was on Saturday. The invite wanted us to wear something that was pink and red. And when I tell y'all by that point, I was pink and redded out. I love the color combination together, but I was just, I was, your girl was over it. So I thought I'd do a little something different. I paired my Nanushka sweater with this wide trim satin belt from H&M, their latest collection. And I just threw on some red cigarette pants that my tailor made for me. Um, but I still was like, mm, it's missing a little something and needs something more. I didn't know exactly what shoes I wanted to wear with it. I knew I didn't want to wear heels. I wanted to wear boots, but I wasn't entirely sure. So I packed all of this, not knowing whether or not it was going to get the air, um, airtime. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Okay, beauty. So we made it to the end and there's still a lot of things I need to do. <laughs> there's still some outfits that I need to hash out, some accessories that I need to get together. Like I have the general concept of things, but there's a lot of things that I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get it all together. Plus, I don't want to pack too much. I'm only really going to four events. But then I have like dinner and then I have one free day where I'm absolutely doing nothing. So on that day, I did bring some kind of like lounge clothes. I don't I don't have an event or anything to go to, but I like to be prepared. So just at, you know, the off chance that somebody says, hey, um, why don't we go to X, Y and Z? I'll have a look together that I'm not embarrassed about, <laughs> especially being New York City Fashion Week during, you know, in New York City. So that's kind of where. I'm not exactly sure. I'm like, okay, I need like um, two outfits that are maybes, some alternates, you know, what if I don't feel like wearing whatever it is on that particular day. Um, but we'll see. There's some good stuff in there and there's some stuff that's gonna get worn. And it's, oh, that's another outfit, yeah. Look, whatever's in there, it's gonna be a look and that's what I'm gonna give the people and that's what the people gonna get. So 
it is what it is if you stuck around this long you definitely know what to do make sure to like share subscribe and hit that bell notification so you do not miss an upload and i will see y'all next time for my new york city fashion week vlog spring 2022 bye bye